You're also holding it upside down. Or, or, no, that's right. The screen's up here, isn't it? Yes. I keep forgetting. I'm looking at it from the other <laughs> side. Okay. Today's recipe is seasoned burgers. Now, here's what we need. Uh, we need ground beef. I use uh, less lean meat because when you cut the fat, you cut the flavor. This is just simple Kroger brand meat. 7327. Uh, and then you need teriyaki sauce, a splash of balsamic vinaigrette, and this stuff is just amazingly good. But since it's seasoned burgers, you need seasoned salts. Lowry's is pretty good. You also need uh, basil leaves and black pepper. And then I'm probably not going to use these dried minced onions. I'm put those away. So we got how many people eating? Four. Four? Okay, so four people should be about half of this. That'll even leave us some left over because we make big burgers. And you slice them down the middle like that. Grab it and just pinch it off. There we go. And the rest of this can be saved for something else. Now, I bring this stuff out because you can mix in a little bit of uh, like a thick hot sauce. Like this is shirachi sauce. Uh, Vietnamese sweet chili sauce that's really good that you can buy at most grocery stores and it's not terribly expensive but it is really hot um, but my fiance doesn't like spicy foods that much and her her mother has diverticulitis and can't really eat them so the first thing we need to do is we need to break this up some mmm raw meat <laughs> now there's an order that you add this stuff in. Uh, da, 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 da. Now this is, hands are all greasy. This is minced garlic and olive oil. You want to get some of that olive oil and some of the garlic too. Now just a little bit of this stuff, it goes a, a long way. A little bit more olive oil. There we go. And then Add in some teriyaki sauce. I don't usually use measuring cups and stuff like that. Uh, most of my recipes are up here. I just go by by feel. Let's see. Then we need let's see liquid liquid so, uh, liquid liquid powder pepper. Right, so we add now this stuff is really potent. It's a black uh, balsamic vinegar. So just a very small amount of this. I want you to check your, your, your eaters out with uh, vinegar. And then you season and oh. pepper and basil leaves. There we go. And now just mix it up. Try not to drop stuff on the counter like that. My counters are clean, so I don't really care about putting that stuff back in there. Right. Mix it up. <coughs> and you'll know you've got it right by the smell. So, you know, I can't really describe the smell to you. It sounds like it smells like uncooked burger and teriyaki essentially. Make sure that it's all nice and mixed up pretty evenly. Probably need a little bit more teriyaki sauce. Alright, now go ahead and you gotta follow me with the camera babe. These pans are really good. They're called uh, Calphalon, but they're a titanium carbide mixture which allows them to be both non-stick as well as have the ability to be seasoned, which is nice. So these pans are seasoned with probably about a year's worth of grease. Now, for the pan, 
you want to add, are we out of butter? Yes. Okay, well, usually you want to add like a dash of just like a little bit of butter down here where you set it down just so it won't scorch to the pan. But well, we're out of butter. Are we out of olive oil? Um, we appear to also be out of olive oil. Gay poverty. <clears throat> no, I'm not using canola oil. <laughs> Just not gonna do that. It's a nonstick pan. Yeah, I know, but sometimes since you uh, run the heat a little high, I mean, for the first burger, I want it to be a little rare in the middle. So I run the heat a little bit high, but I guess I'll cook like you and your mom and your dad's first. And then I bring the heat down, so it'll cook all the way through. I like my meat kind of bloody, even my hamburger. <laughs> Heat it up. And I added another little splash of teriyaki to this. So, now you just make your burger patties. I found my olive oil, somebody put it in the fridge. It's just not the right place for olive oil. Now, done correctly, a burger should be flipped once. And once it starts cooking, you don't really want to squish it down, but right here at the very beginning, before the greases start to really come out, I want to squish it down to get a nice uniform shape. Now, you can cook these more than one at a time, but I'm just going to do the one first. Snoodling for foods. Guinness. Sit. Good dog. Good dog. Alright, we flipped it for the first time. Now you'll notice some blackening up along the top. That is from the teriyaki sauce. It's not actually burnt. It's just what happens when teriyaki sauce is introduced to heat and grease. Now, I forgot to show you before I flipped it, but how you know when to flip it is when the discoloration from the heat creeps all the way up to the other side of the burger and then you flip it over onto the red side. But, there's one almost done. Guinness, sit. Good boy. You think you're getting burger, don't you? Don't you? There we go. Finished product. Takes about, uh, what would you say, like 15 minutes to make these? And you got a nice blackened patina from the uh, stuff. Some onions, some Duke's mayonnaise. I swear, only mayonnaise in the world worth buying. And then, you know, we got another one on over here. Now, if you can, I don't know if you can see this once I render the video, but as that discoloration moves up to the upper part of this burger, that's how you know when to flip it. And with the